What up, world? Back again. It's the Country Rap Report. Your boy, Big XL. What up? It's your dude, Spank. All right. And you know what we do right here on the Country Rap Report? We give y'all our opinions and our views on some of the hottest country rap videos in the country. Now, every artist you might see reviewed on this show might not be a country rap artist, but they are someone that we deem that the fans of the genre will appreciate and love. All right, man. Let's jump right into it. Now, this is a video that... um. It's been out for a minute, and we hadn't talked about it, but I feel like we should, so let's get into it, man. This video is Andrew Schultz featuring Jelly Roll, uh, Jelly Roll featuring Andrew Schultz, and the name of this joint is Open Her Up, and the first thing I got to say is, tick, 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 tick. only because what they were doing that in the video. I heard that all in the ad list. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Now, for those people who don't know, Andrew Schultz is a very, very renowned comic. So I didn't even come into this record with any expectation other than it being funny. And that it is. All right? Yes. Open Her Up is basically about opening back up the country. Open up the country. Let's get past this COVID shit. Open back up the country. That's what they're talking about. And Andrew Basically, is doing his best rendition of Weird Al Yankovic or any of the great parody or artists out there. It's a very, very funny song. It's very country. It's very, yes. very country. And um, yes. he dropped some lines in there that are that I really, really like. Like, you know, like he talks about stretch marks on titties. Um, it's just. He, he talks about beans on titties. Like there's a scene where his girl, they're pouring the pork and beans on the breast. It's a hilarious video, man. If you know Andrew Schultz, you know this is right in line with his type of humor. Now, if you haven't ever seen Andrew Schultz, he has a Netflix special and he also does a weekly podcast with Charlemagne the God and he does a weekly podcast of his own. So he's huge on YouTube in the podcast game. And I didn't know that. And on the comedy scene, yes. He That's has one of the original hip hop podcasts from Charlemagne the God called Brilliant Idiots. I did not know that. Yes. Okay. I, now I got to look at him with a different different eye now. Yes. He has a, like him and him and him and Charlemagne are some of the original, as I call, hip hop podcasts. They've been doing Brilliant Idiots for a while, and he also has his own podcast. Where he's the lead because on the one with Charlemagne, Charlemagne's the lead. But he has his own called Flagrant Two, which is doing very, very well also. But they're both very, very entertaining podcasts covering culture, music, everything. And like I say, he's a comedian, and he gave me exactly what I like. This video was really, really clean. It's, it was probably uh, other than the room scenes, and that room scene actually might be a set. I'm not sure, but it seemed like it wasn't a green screen. But what do you call it when it's just like in front of? A screen, but not a green screen. Because you are, you know um, the technical words for these, but it seemed like they performed in front of like props. It wasn't a right. lot of moving parts in the in the video, but funny video. I got it, um, especially with this second wave of Corona, this Delta variant out there. I just felt like it was a good something to talk about. Now, what I like even most was. Jelly Roll's rap. Because I was wondering, was Jelly Roll going to rap or was he going to sing? And I said this in a couple of episodes back. Jelly Roll is killing the verses with the features. Yes, he is. And that rap he gave, it was kind of comedic, but it was cool. Now, this is the funny thing, because I hear a lot of country rap artists talk about wearing masks, being vaccinated. And what made me want to talk about this is Unless I didn't hear something, Jelly Roll didn't even truly give his opinion. He didn't do anything to make me know whether he is vaccinated or isn't vaccinated. And that I respected because he's not swaying anyone. He's not using his popularity to encourage you to wear a mask or not to wear a mask, to get vaccinated or not vaccinated. He's basically done a very fun, on point, eight bars for this record. And I respected that even more. Okay. Um, I, I too was going into it with a funny ear, you know, just, just expecting the humor, um, got turned off when I heard this first couple chords, because this is, like you said, it's very, very country. Um, 
but I, I kind of got over that with the humor. And then, you know, we're talking about stretch marks on titties and there was beans on titties and there was whiskey on titties. There was all kinds of titties in this video. Uh, so I, I, these are titty people. I'm not mad at that. You know, and, then this, and I, I can guarantee somebody got laid after this video shoot for sure, based on the, the what was going on during the shoot. This was a good video. Um, thank you for bringing Jelly back out to, so we can hear him rap. Anybody that does that, thank you and going forward. Appreciate you. Um, I did not like a few things. I didn't like that. I didn't like the format of the song. And that's probably really the only thing that I didn't like. Um, the first verse was longer than the second. Uh, and then Jelly came in and he did his thing. But I, um, it was weirdly put together. But I don't know if it really mattered because the, the subject matter and the video context was all about humor. It's not something that I should be looking into and trying to delve into on a systematic industry standard type thing. It was just a fun video and I should take it at that. All right, well, I like to, you know the funny thing? I heard the video got banned. Or well, I heard they actually, heard Andrew Schultz got in some trouble filming this video. I'm not sure what the backstory is. I'm sure he did with them titties. He probably got in trouble with some sexual assaults. That would be my guess. Was them titties was out. Multiple flavors, like beans and whiskey type. Like, And I'm one mad at it. Again, you know, run your thing, fam. But. I like it, and it's very clean. And like I say, it was it was a lighthearted jab on what's going on with the country. And sometimes we're way too goddamn serious. Agreed. All right, man. Let's keep it rolling. Open the road. I thought it was gonna be talking about something else. You know what I thought it was gonna be talking about, right? Uh, open them legs up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, man. Next up, we got. Hey, hey. Would have had bunny. <laughs> yeah, it doesn't have fun in it. Next up, man, we got a newcomer to the show. He goes by the name of Mason Thompson. And the name of this joint is Drunk Again. I think I'm going to start this one off because I can feel your energy. Yes, Lord. You know you feel it. <laughs> it's bubbling. <laughs> all right. Let me, let, me, let me throw all these things out there that I need to throw out there. First of all, salute to Mason Thompson. He just graduated high school. So salute to Mason Thompson. For just graduating high school. He's a baby. Okay, okay. I won't go as hard as I was planning on going hard. I'm patting it. I'm patting it. All right. Also, Mason Thompson's been doing his thing for right around a year. Um, he's released an EP. Um, he's just a young artist, definitely, definitely trying to find his lane and find his way and gain fans. Um, and I've been, and I'm gonna say this also, Mason Thompson was one of the first people to embrace me on this country rap genre. So now I've laid the cushion. Okay. I couldn't watch this whole video. No, it's my you. time. I got to talk about the video first. Uh, okay, you go ahead. You, Cause you talk about the whole video cause I couldn't watch the whole video. Man. Okay. The first thing is, um, I didn't really like how the vocals synced up with the video. I didn't, okay. the vocals sounded weird. It sounded like someone who wanted to do an auto tune but it didn't really sound auto. It, it just sounded weird. And okay. also everything I seen, and I know Thompson um, does sing, but I didn't expect him to sing the entire song. Okay. He didn't give me no bars. Right. He didn't give me those bars. And I did get it. The concept is very simple. Which With a brand new artist, I don't expect them to jump over the moon with the lyrics. It was simple and it was about drinking. I needed to see more visuals when it comes to drinking and you being drunk again. How were you I, drunk again and you just graduated high school? Come on. I, I was drunk a lot. Come on, come on. <laughs> that is not good, bro. Look, we gotta I, be you want me to be honest know. or you want me to be a parent? No, no I want you to be a parent because there's, there's people out there that need, to, need positive role models. They don't need to be telling you it's okay to drink at 18. I didn't say it was okay. I'm saying, but I've been that guy. Oh, we did a lot of things that we weren't supposed to do. A lot. You know, it's all good. It's all good. I, you know what would have been a good positive message in that record? What would have made that video dope? If he showed a little more visuals, maybe some empty bottles or something, maybe they could have showed inside. Maybe that wasn't his vehicle. Because if they had showed the inside of the vehicle, 
You know how you get in a drunk person's vehicle and you see all these empty bottles at the bottom and the floorboard? Right. <laughs> maybe they could have showed us some of that. Maybe, maybe to stamp a positive message, maybe he could have had a designated driver. Maybe he could have done a visual of someone taking the keys from him being the designated driver. We see. I just think he could have done more with the visuals. It's like he's that would have been. It's like he's doing a rap out at an old school gas station. I thought the, the vintage gas pumps looked cool, but it didn't make me feel like he was drunk again. And Mason, you could have gave us some bars, bro. You know how to rap? Stop playing. Stop playing. Give us some bars. But again, what? he's a young, growing artist. And okay. I look forward to seeing more. Well, if that wasn't his vehicle. Huh? If that wasn't his vehicle, then KRS 289 Iowa tag, that license plate is in the video, in the video, like blatantly. And I know somebody's gonna be livid because now their shit is all over the internet. I I thought, and I and I'm which now that I know this is 18 year old, like there's they 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 probably gonna not take some things as serious and it's gonna fall through the cracks. So I understand that part. Um, but going forward, Mason, there's some things you gotta blur, blur out. If you're not doing it, then whoever your video guy or girl is, they need to be doing it. License plates is one of those things. Uh, if you're on scene and not supposed to be on scene and you're borrowing somebody else's background and some of that other stuff might need to be blacked out too. Um, I'm not mad at the wardrobe because you're 18, but try not to throw other people's logos on your body unless they are paying you to do so. Um, true, you bought the material, it's, it's your clothes, you bought them, but they're not paying you to put their logo out in front of the masses like that so don't do that that's free advertisement for them don't give them that because they will pay you for that i the the vocals okay and let me, before i get on the vocals the video is also dark in a lot of the places and i'm gonna I'm be truly transparent with you i only got in a minute and a half and i had to cut it off because i did not like the vocals not that you don't have talent it is because the production on the vocals was so bad. Um, it was a double stack of the vocals and neither one of those was auto-tuned and neither one of those had an EQ on it, which made it sound muffled. So now that neither one of them have it, have the, any type of effect on it to make it sound clearer, now it is muffled. Now you got a double muff, that sound like a porn, but you got a double muff on it and it's, very, very distracting. It was it was so distracting for me that I couldn't even listen to the whole song. I tried to watch it and I tried to take it serious. And then you're a kid, so I'm giving you this advice so you can be better going forward. Um, matter of fact, I need you to reach out. Reach out to Bob Sandiford. I, I throw Bob's name out there very, very often because Bob is a professional at what he does. He's a professional mixing and mastering engineer. I'm sure Bob would throw you free plugins that you can use that would assist you. Or maybe he'll just create you a, a template so you can use that going forward as you're recording, whether you're recording your song when you're trying to sing or your song when you're trying to rap, either one of those two. Bob is nice. He's that nice of a guy that he might throw you something that way. Um, but you definitely need it based off of what I heard in this song because it's vocals was really, really bad, bro. And I'm not I'm being as nice as possible because you're 18. If you were not 18, then you would be catching the business right now. But I, I, I believe in the children trying to, uh, some, some kids make bad decisions. It, that is a fact. And some kids need to understand that when an adult is trying to tell you how you can fix yourself or will you not make more bad decisions, you need to be listening. These are two adults that are in this video that is trying to give you that advice. So you can not make more bad decisions and people can take you serious enough to where you're selling music to on the same level as some of these other people that are going to be in this video. So get get work on the production, play around with some more plugins. I know you might not, I don't, I don't know if you don't like auto tunes or not, but you might want to play around with it. If you're not going to get vocal lessons, you are going to need auto tunes. Uh, what, that's, that's a fact, one or the two. Um, and there's another guy that's going to be in this review that use auto-tune very well uh, in, in, in 
this in his song. So if you're going to watch the rest of this episode, pay attention and you'll see who we're talking about and how it was applicable for his music. But keep trying, keep doing music. Don't stop just because we're coming at you this way. Like, don't keep doing it. We want you to keep making your music. This is your voice. Express it. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Those are some great, great words. All right, next up. This is a guy I really, really like. I feel like we kind of gave him a hard time on one of our reviews, but he makes great music and he works really, really hard. Next up, we have Burden, and this joint is featured Rick Lane, and it's called Home. I'm going to let you start this one off. I am, I, I like, okay, this is a Breadwin video, so I, I, I expected quality, and I got quality. Um, some of the angles are just a little bit weird, a little close up for me. Um, but it was an intimate type of song because it was talking about um, what I think the subject matter was uh, burden dealing with AA or alcoholism and trying to combat that. And so, and the, the singer, Rich Lynn, who was conveying the same type of message. So it was supposed to be some sort of intimacy between you and the presenter. I did not like the beat. That's the only thing negative. Burden did his thing, stayed on topic. Which I was not expecting. Um, Rich Lynn did his thing. He's definitely country. Um, I don't know if he raps or not, but that country is definitely there. Uh, but I thought the beat should have been slower, uh, so the message would have come across even more impactful. I, I felt some parts Burden was rapping too fast, uh, and the beat was he left the beat. Um, but had the beat been slower, then he would have pulled back a little bit more, and he would have been right in pocket. Other than that, like it was a great effort. Um, I wish I would have put some sort of AA message at the end of it, was so people can join Alcohol Alcoholics Anonymous or find a sponsor or whatever, so they can get help. But when you when you are putting out these types of messages, you need to give people solutions um, so they can find help themselves. Like too many of you guys that are out here in this genre are just throwing out what you're dealing with and how you're dealing with it in your music, but you're not giving these people solutions. The Lax did it the best last, and they just we just did one of the reviews on their their songs when they were dealing with PTSD. Put a phone number in there. It's, it could be a national hotline number. That's, whether you do it or the videographer does it, or whoever does it, like it needs to be in the video because if you are targeting these type of people with that type of music, then they need to know where to go and find that type of help. And that type of number would be beneficial for them. I definitely, definitely agree with you. We should have seen some type of AA hotline or some type of something for those people who are dealing with these issues. Um, I really like the song. Um, I love, man, Burden is is a very prolific lyricist. And he definitely does his thing, whatever he puts pen to paper. Even if he's talking about a topic that I might not agree with, he's going to definitely paint a, a portrait. Um, I really like the video. The video made me feel like a day in the life of, you know what I'm saying? And it starts off with a guy who's basically, I guess, he's hungover or maybe he had a hard night and he's going to see the ball instead of going to work. Um, what I really like the most about this song is Rick Lynn's vocals. Um, and, and again, that's not taken away from Burden because lyrically he is on point and he made me feel like I was right there with him when he's talking about his battle with alcoholism and even the fact that he possibly inherited it from his mother. I thought that was dope. But Rick Lynn really impressed me with that baritone mm -hmm. and how he changed those octaves. That really impressed me. Now, Burton doesn't consider himself a country rap artist, but in this video, he looks like a country rap artist. Agreed. So he was in pocket for anybody who likes the genre. Definitely check this one out. Subject matter is there. Video was good and clean. And the hook was on point. There was no misses on this video, in my opinion. And I, then, I was not, I was not expecting him to stay on topic. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. But he did the whole song. Mm -hmm. Very surprised. Very, very. Um, I think I'm not giving him enough credit. Like I might need to reevaluate Bird. I don't think either one of us. Yeah, yeah. I think the one, the video he done with Mises, which I thought was lyrically dope. I just think that for me. I just think his perspective on the situation, that was just his perspective. And maybe I was too opinionated on his perspective. So maybe that made me not, maybe that made me a little skewed. But 
I want to apologize to Burton because I think you're a very, very dope artist. I think you're a very, very dope artist. And I know you put in a lot of work. And I definitely respect your craft and your pen. Definitely. Only thing, I like I said, the only miss in this video for me was I would have loved to seen a number at the end for those who need help. Any videos that touch any subject matter that can help people, you have those people attention for three minutes. Let's give them something at the end that could possibly save their life. True that. Even you saw the hard um, um, guest appearance too. He was one huh? of the guys at the AA. Hard Target was one of the guys at the AA meeting. Oh, Hard Target was in there? Yeah, he was in this video. Yeah. Okay, Hard Target is every goddamn way. I, I, didn't even, I didn't even notice Hard Target. I'm going to have to go back and I didn't, because I didn't feel like, see, I was looking for Hard Target in the last video. I wasn't looking for anyone. I looked for Mises. <laughs> He's not in there. He's not in there. Okay. All right, man. Last video of the day. And this definitely isn't a country rap artist, but I felt like we need to talk about this because he's talking about someone that we review all their shit. So right. last video of the day is by a gentleman who goes by the name, and I hope I'm pronouncing this correctly. He goes by the name of Loza Alexander. And the okay. name of this joint is Dear Tom McDonald. Okay, I'm gonna let you start it off. This was um, weird for me. Now, video wise, your camera's too close. You probably need to back that thing up like two, two feet. And then the, the angle that you were trying to get, you're trying to perfect the up close in studio type of performance, the angle that you were trying to get would have been perfect. But you, this video, this thing was like this, like this close on you. Um, and it, that gave two of an intimate feel. Um, and then some of the overdubbing is off in certain parts. So, and with it being this close to your face, you cannot not notice it. So that would probably be the only thing video wise that I would say. Lyrically, Duke can spit, Duke can sing too. This is my first time ever hearing him. So I'm, I'm getting, this is all virgin ears with Loza Alexander. I, I didn't hear anything that I didn't like. I, I actually subscribed to the channel, liked him. And I'm, he's on my watch list now to see what else he's got to say and the subject matters that he'll be tackling. But he, he, he paid homage very well. And I, th this is something that rap doesn't do often. Rap doesn't say thank you. Um, and especially to people that are alive. Like you're, you're, doing, you're doing something that most rappers don't vocally do in songs. And he created an entire song to another rapper who's white, um, which is another thing because we're talking about a white rapper that's getting the all of these accolades and getting the spotlight. And you're saying thank you, to, uh, you're my inspiration. Like you're you're breaking some molds, and I, I commend you for that. Uh, lyrically, you are you are a, um, I wouldn't call him a beast, but I put him in the same pocket as uh, Devon Terrell or Futuristic. Uh, he's in that same vein, same, that same pocket, because this dude, he's multifaceted too. So he can sing and rap, and so can all, and both of the guys that I just mentioned. Um, they, but and they also play to the same type of crowd. It's mostly white based crowds, but it's crowds that like hip hop, rap. They like all genres, and then, then truth be told, they don't. You can't even put them in one pocket because all of, all of the guys that are in that pocket, they do a mesh of music. And I don't know if this guy does that uh, or not, but it, it, because the fan base is there, he could experiment with it. But I, I didn't hear anything that uh, that turned me off at all. Um, I, I would like to hear more from him. I don't know if the genre is going to be accepting of him. Um, I don't know. The, hell, the genre is very tolerant of Tom McDonald uh, just because of his wokeness. But if, if you are a fan of Tom, I think you'd definitely be a fan of Loza. Uh, as well, for sure. All right, I'm gonna say this. I do agree. Goddamn, bro, your face. Not saying you're ugly, but your face is so close. It gave me nightmares. Like, why the <laughs> fuck was your face so close? <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Secondly, shout out to Party City. That's a Party City bandana. Um, no, I don't know, but I think it is. Um, <laughs> um, what I really liked about it, lyrically, man, my my guy's on the point. And he, he could have called his record Dear Nova and Tom. 
because the yeah. first version you really pay um homage to Nova. And I think that's dope because we pay homage to Nova because man, all the way to this show. Mm-hmm. The backbone to a lot of men's success is their woman. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna even put that on the country rap report. So the fact that he is saying he wants a woman like Nova to hold him down, I thought that was very, very admirable to put that in a record about another guy's lady paying homage to their relationship. Um, right. Because when I first got married, I just wanted to be able to publicly display my wife and my love for my wife. A lot of people just ask me, why do you show so many pictures of your wife on social media platforms? But I wanted to profess my love for her to the world. Not that I needed to prove to anyone anything. Sometimes I just think women need that uplifting. And mm-hmm. And it's different strokes for different folks. Everybody don't need that, but I just wanted to be able to put her on a pedestal because I wanted the world to know without no me, without no her, there's no me at this point. So I really, really respected that. And then the second verse, he gave, basically he gave it up to Tom and his influence and Tom saying what he wants to say in his lyrics, no matter who likes it. I thought that was dope too, paying homage to artists. And the fact, like you said, the fact that he's an African-American Paying homage to a white artist is damn near unheard of. I haven't seen that done before. Mm-hmm. No. I've seen no, brilliant collabs, but paying you can't homage. Get done in, in core hip hop, most of these folks won't even honor Eminem. Eminem is being one of the top lyricists ever. Right. They'll be like, nah, nah, he ain't he ain't even in the conversation. But motherfucker, are we talking numbers or or skills? Because either one of them, he's in he's the top winning. three. Right. <laughs> yeah, so. Like and, and and but it's just it's just stupid, bro. You know what I mean? Talent is talent. Like what 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 what's the what is it? Hip hop is culture, not color. Is that right? Did I get it right? Hip hop is culture, not color. Yeah, exactly. So the, this is this is an example of that. This this guy is Tom was a student of hip hop. He is a student of Tom. You know, it, and it's all hip hop. Like I'm not mad at this. I love it. Like keep keep doing this type of stuff. Just be you. Whatever you want to put on on the record. Put that shit out there. Somebody's going to like it. And I got to say this, and just looking at some of his other stuff, maybe that's his style, because all his videos are close up. I don't know if he's filming himself or what the hell is going on, but that's what he's doing now. Now, this is what shocked me. Oh, let me say this, because I don't want to move past it. The hook, because Tom McDonald is his influence, but the hook made me think of Juice World. See, I'm not a Juice World fan, so I don't know. So I'm oblivious. So I, I mean, what what is it? The type of flow or the cadence? Just the singing. Okay, so this is the thing, and I don't know how much we'll talk about. How do you pronounce? Is it Loza? I don't know how much more Loza. we'll talk about Loza because his uh-huh. music right now, from hearing this record, like I said, is reviewed because the fact that we review Tom McDonald so much, and I would right. love for the fans of Tom McDonald to see someone paying homage to Tom McDonald. Um, he also has a record that we'll probably review. Um, it's a little Nas X disc, so I definitely want to get that on. Um, but okay, other than that, so, uh, this ver- this record, somebody commented on one of our reviews of Tom's records in the in the comments on the video, and they said, "Go and watch this video. Go check this video out." So I went and checked it out, and that's how I found it. So they're aware of it. They know they know that of the homage and what he's doing or what he's paying to to Tom McDonald. Well, this is what shocked me. And again, I don't think he'll be in the country rap lane. Even though he had he started with Tom and then he has a little Nas X disc, which I definitely want to cover. But okay. I think he'll end up in that emo lane. The XXX Tentacion, the Juice World. Okay. I think he'll end up in that lane. But like I said, I want the fans to see. Number one, anytime the fans are interacting with us, I want to interact back. So the fact that a fan said we should watch it, I felt like we should not only watch it but review it. So, but this is what shocked me, and then I'm gonna move. Hold on, hold on before you get to the shot. But didn't both of them dudes dead? Did you just t- mention X X X Tentacion and Juice World? Both of them are dead. I mean, Evo might not be the route that you need to be going. Then and so is so is there. There is another. Uh, yeah, but that's the lane he's in. That's the lane he's in. The sound. Okay. Okay. The sound. I need to hear more content. His sound is in that lane. 
Go I've on. only listened to this one record, so I won't put him in that pocket with content just yet. But he also has a song okay. called Dear X that I'm I'm looking forward to hearing too. So and he mentions his ex in this song in the first verse. So That's definitely true. he's emotional. <laughs> you have to be emotional okay. to make a song about another man and his girlfriend. So and it's not a diss. <laughs> this is true. So if you've done that, normally you would be dissing them. Fuck you and that bitch. Right. <laughs> so I don't, like I said, he's definitely an artist I'm going to keep on my radar just for the purpose of hip hop. But, um, and I do want to review the Dear Nas X, the Lil Nas X diss he did. And then we'll just keep an eye on him. But I don't see him being in the genre. Okay. okay. All right, man. That's it. Well, you have you said it was one thing that, that you did not. I, and I oh, this you, I okay. Apologize. And I, this is one thing I didn't didn't. Oh, thank you. Because I think he's dope, and I think he shows a lot of promise. And a lot of times, when I look at these people's social media numbers; it just pisses me off. Cause he only has mm -hmm. one thousand one hundred and nine followers at the taping of this episode. On Instagram. On Instagram. Maybe he's not posting enough. That might be it. And, you know, his first post, well, it seems like he's only start. Oh, it seems like he's been, because um, he got a post in June that says, IG, leave me the fuck alone. This is my new IG, shaking my head. Okay. So maybe he's IG. Been been he's been so. <laughs> yeah. He's been erased a couple of times. Yeah. <laughs> but he's followed by some of the other reactors in the country rap genre. So we'll see. I ain't gonna shout okay. them. I'm not gonna shout them. Yeah, they, they don't. They ain't gonna, gonna shout them. I ain't gonna shout them. All right. So, but with that being said, we're gonna keep an eye on Loza. But I think he's very, very talented. The only thing I don't like is maybe he should get a video guy for they can back that camera up. Because now it appears like maybe yeah. he's filming his own video. Yeah. Low, maybe low cost. Yeah. So, but keep doing your thing, man. Like I say, if you got the talent, don't let anything stop you from getting your message to the world, and then you can play catch up. But keep giving us something and we can watch the growth. So I'm with that. All right, man, before we get up out of here, I got to say this, and I meant to say it on the last episode. And by the time this drops, it'll be old. But I got to say... Gotta Don't forget huh? the recap too now. Huh? Don't forget the recap now. Oh, I'm going to do the recap. But if, I, if okay. I had done the recap, then I would forget this. Okay. And I got to say this because this guy rocks with us. So I got to acknowledge him. And I'm going to give the date. Happy birthday. Happy belated birthday. Celebrating one year old. My guy, Coca. His daughter is one on yes. August 21st. She's a Leo. She's part of the Leo gang. <laughs> so happy birthday to her. Happy belated birthday. To her, August twenty first. Coca, keep doing your thing, boy. And um, hey man, that girl dads rock. I didn't throw that. At you. I tried. I tried. I tried. I tried to be a girl dad three times. It didn't work. Oh. So I'm jealous. They say when you have a girl, the guy's doing most of the work. So I don't know. You tell me. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness. I ain't touching that one, fam. That's a definite slap in the back of the head from the wife. You said what? <laughs> I was that's what old people say. Oh, maybe I'm just saying that because I got girl. I got sons too, so it's a balance. It don't matter to me. I just said that to mess with you. All right, man. Quick, 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 quick recap. We started everything off. Jelly Roll featuring Andrew Schultz or Andrew Schultz featuring Jelly Roll, however you want to combo it. We'll open her up. Open her up. Then we had Mason Thompson with Drunk Again. Why are you underage drinking, boy? Why are you <laughs> underage drinking, boy? All right. Bert. Where are you drinking? Where are you getting the liquor from? Like, you can't even buy this shit. Are you doing what I used to do? Are you hanging out in front of the liquor store? Like, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, man, just give me a little something, something. You can keep the chain. <laughs> Don't, now you. Now you're giving them ideas. <laughs> hey, man. 
You have to get it how you live, man. Don't be, hey, man, don't be out here drinking underage, man. The Country Rare Report, we no. do not support underage drinking at all. No. Period. Or, or you going to be a part of the topic of the next video that we reviewed or and having to attend an AA meeting. So, no, fam. Or, like, or a... you have a song called Open Her Up, and you're talking about the goddamn... <laughs> Mason, All of this is for you. <laughs> let, this be, let this be a lesson. We book in this shit on purpose for you, Mason. Either you're going to have an open or up, or you're going to have problems like my man got at home. Right, right, right. Bottom line, don't be underage drinking. <laughs> shit. You just graduated high school, boy. All right. Next up, man, we had Burden. The name of the joint was Home, and it featured Rick Lynn. Rick Lynn is awesome on the vocals. Um, That baritone thing, he came in. Rrr, like the temptations all the night. Remember that? Yeah, I do. I do. And then he went somewhere else. I had to look like, is that the same guy? Like, boy, Rick Lynn is promising. And um, yeah, that, that, that's that country thing right there. Country folk do that real. It's the to perfection. They start deep and take it somewhere else. And Burton definitely delivered on the lyrics. And last up, we had Loza Alexander with Dear Tom McDonald. My man paid homage to Nova, Nova Rockefeller and Tom. Hip hop royalty, hip hop royal. They are probably the hip hop, independent hip hop power couple. They have to be. Because they doing it for real, for real. They are the Jay Z and Beyonce of the independent music. When she dropped more music, then it was solidified even more. But right now, Tom, she's helping to elevate Tom, which will get even more eyes on her whenever she drops her stuff. So they're doing it the right way. They probably should do. And remember how Jay-Z and Beyonce did an a, a EP? Yeah, absolutely. Hopefully they'll absolutely. do one of those at some point. And that would be dope. That would be dope. All right. So we gave y'all in the let we gave y'all four records. Now please check them out. Artists out there, if you're artists out there and you would like your video review, or if you're somebody out there who your cousin, sister, mama, nephew, auntie, uncle, if they are doing country rap and you want that video reviewed by the country rap too, all you gotta do is get it to us. You can get it to us via Instagram, Country Rap Report. You can get it to us on the Country Rap Report page on Facebook, or you can email it to us at info at country rap report, correct? Yes. Okay, so get us the video. Now, there's only one criteria. Well, actually two. Number one, we only review videos. Yes. Number two, it has to be six months in. Yes. So every month it goes up. Yes. Matter of fact, it should get to us first. That's what you need to do. In servicing your record, make sure you service us, your video. Yes. Because we're going to talk about it. Now, when you submit it, have a thick skin. Period. Don't, if you, if you a weak skinned it, don't send it. They're right. If you're a yeah, weak skinned it, don't send it. All right? That's all I got for him, man. Again, happy belated birthday to my man, Coca's daughter. Uh, got to shout out Coca. Got to shout out Bob. Got to shout out the domestic diva. I want to give away something in one of these chats, man. Mm, we don't have merch yet, but we can we can start planning it. I'm gonna buy them something. Hey, you know what? We can autograph. Want to autograph a mask? A mask? <laughs> oh, I wouldn't do that. Because no. yeah, that's gonna be disposables. A lot of people in country rap don't wear masks. No. All right, man. Um that's it for me. Country rap report, country rap report, country rap report. And I ain't got no more. It's your boy Big XL. Yes, you do, Spank. We are the Country Rap Report. Keep us locked every Monday, every Wednesday, every Friday, 10 a.m. Set your notification so you can be in there and you can chop it up with us. Okay? Yes. And hear me say, type some shit that I assume to be funny. That no one else does. And I still think I haven't figured out watching the premieres because I think that something happens like because I'll be watching it at work and then I'm oh shit. And then when I come back, it's like y'all be talking about something, but that's not what I'm seeing. 
So it's like, I don't know. Is um, it, it might be delayed. It might be delayed. Because it, it can be paused. If you don't go out and then come back in, then you're you're delayed. And oh. we're already ahead of that conversation. Oh, so that's why y'all ain't laughing at my shit. Y'all like, what the hell is he talking about? That was, okay, I get it. I get it. Yeah. Because <laughs> so the brown on brown, I thought that was funny. I don't even remember that. I made a comment that we got a thumbs down because I had brown. Oh, yeah, I remember, I, remember, okay, I remember you saying that. I remember you saying that, yeah. But I ain't getting no reaction. That shit kind of hurt. I almost logged the fuck off. <laughs> no, fam. Joke, joke, jokes are interpretive. They might not have, might not have wanted to laugh about that, you know. Yeah, they might have been a little sense. They might have felt like if I thought they laughed at that, I might get mad. Right, right. They, they was like, hold on. No, don't say nothing. Yeah, because he did, he did get mad about that ninja shit. <laughs> <laughs> all right man uh before we get up out of here i want to say this on this show bob where does your show air oh we I to watch your show huh it's gonna be on twitch it, i got the notification today it's, it starts separate september the first okay it'll be it will air by the time this show airs it will be on but they're they're launching relaunching everything september the first all right, Bob, I want we the country report want to come down and chill. Well, I guess you're already there, but I want to come and chill and hang out with Bob and have I'm gonna bring my cup right. and I'm gonna have some spigot water. And I want to come hang out with Bob. Bob's an interesting guy and he always supports. So I want to just reciprocate that support back. Okay. Agree. Right back in. Right. All right, man. Until next time, man. Y'all be safe. Peace. All right, y'all. Peace.